him by his blood Called from the world and its idols to flee Called from the bondage of sin to be free Witness unto the Lord is our watchword and song Holiness unto the Lord as we're marching along. Sing it, shout it, loud and long. Holiness unto the Lord now and forever. All unto holiness, children of life. In garments of white, praying when the solid or tarnish we see, the soul is spirit abiding within. Holiness unto the Lord is our watchword and song. Holiness unto the Lord as we're marching along. Sing it, shout it, loud and loud. Holiness unto the Lord, now and forever. All done to holiness, praise His name. This message sacred to faith now make plain Not our own righteousness, but Christ within Living and reigning and saving from sin Holiness unto the Lord is our watchword and song Holiness unto the Lord as we're marching along, sing it, shout it, loud and long. Holiness up to the Lord, now and forever. All down to holiness, glorious souls, from the wilderness. Wandering bones Out from the shadows In darkness of light Into the pain of perfect delight Holiness unto the Lord Is a watchword and song Holiness unto the Lord As we're marching along Sing it, shout it, Lord and Lord. Holiness unto the Lord, now and forever. All hearts to holiness, right on the ground. Waiting the bridegroom's returning again. Unto the Lord is our watchword and song. Holiness unto the Lord as we're marching along. Sing it, shout it loud and long. Holiness unto the Lord now and forever. At uh, let us all um, pray. Let us remain in the presence of our God. Manatili po tayo sa presensya ng ating Diyos. Hallelujah, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We, pres we praise your name. We bless your name.
thank you, Lord, for the empowerment of the Holy Spirit, Lord. As we study your word today, we pray, Father, that your anointing come upon your people, your uh, understanding come upon your people. Thank you, Lord, for the Holy Spirit that will move freely in our midst. Thank you, Lord, for the spirit of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And also, thank you, Father, for the spirit of truth coming in the midst of us to help us with all the truth. Thank you, Lord. We worship you in the spirit and in truth. Let your name be magnified in this place as we continue our in our worship unto you. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, this we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. Let us give our Lord a big clap offering. Offering unto the Lord because He is holy. He is faithful. He is gracious. He is merciful. Amen and amen. Okay, mga kapatid, let us all be seated in the presence of our Lord. And um, I praise the Lord because we are being reminded no ourselves we have reminded ourselves that we are in the presence of the holy one amen amen nagpapasalamat ako sa Dios kasi sa sarili natin inaalala natin na nasa presensya tayo ng Dios even this time amen so when we are in the presence of God what must we do we must honor him okay uh, um, we will proceed to our topic right now and I would like us to open once again our Bible from the book of Exodus chapter 19 it was the same uh, uh, verse that we had last week Exodus chapter 19 from verse 10 to verse 15 I will read it in Tagalog and then in English Sinabi ni Yahweh kay Moises, Sabihin mo sa mga tao na ihanda nila ang kanilang sarili mula sa araw na ito hanggang bukas. Kailangang labhan nila ang kanilang mga damit, please. At humanda sa makalawa, sapagkat ako ang si Yahweh ay bababa sa bundok ng Sinai para makita ng mga tao, please. Lagyan mo ng hangganan ang paligid ng bundok at sabihin mo sa kanilang huwag aakyat sa bundok niya hawak ang hawakan ang anumang nasa loob ng hangganan sin mang gumawa nito ay papatayin sa pamamagitan ng bato o sibat maging tao man o hayop at sino mang patayin sa ganitong sa ganitong dahilan ay huwag ding hahawakan kapag narinig na ninyo ang mahabang tunog ng trompeta sa kapalamang kayo makakaakyat sa bundok please Mula sa bundok, bumaba si Moises at pinahanda ang mga tao upang sumamba at nilinis nila ang kanilang mga damit. Please. Sinabi sa kanila ni Moises, humanda kayo sa ikatlong araw at huwag kayo, muna kayong magsisiping. In English, uh, verse 19, uh, verse 10, okay. And the Lord said, at uh, dito sa ating talata, um, Verse 10, 19 verse 10, it says here, Praise. And the Lord said to him, Go to the people and tell them to spend today and tomorrow purifying themselves for worship. They must wash their clothes. Now remember, sabi ganon, remember, they have to purify themselves by washing their clothes ano pa? and be ready the day after tomorrow on that day i will come down on mount sinai where all the people can see me number uh, verse 12 mark a boundary around the mountain that the people must not cross and tell them not to go up the mountain or even get near it if any of you set foot on it now, tandaan natin, if any of you set foot on it, you are to be put to death. You must either be, sto be stoned or shot with arrows without any anyone touching you. This applies to both people and animals. They must be put to death, but when the trumpet is blown, then the people are to go up to the mountain. Then Moses came, up, came down the mountain and told the people to get ready for worship. So they washed their clothes, and Moses told them, 
be ready for the day for be ready by the day after tomorrow and don't have sexual intercourse in the meantime praise god thank you father bless your words now as we partake it let your people lord um, understand everything that you want us to understand through the power of the holy ghost lord god thank you for the covering of the blood of jesus in the name of jesus this we pray amen 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 hallelujah praise god and um i would like us to once again um have a short recap on what we had uh, discussed last week it's all about the honoring not our title even today it's the same title it's uh, honoring god with all our lives no uh, ibig sabihin ating ginagalang ang Diyos sa lahat ng ating buhay. And uh, according to Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 4, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one God. And you, verse 5, And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, and with all your strength. Okay. At uh, ito ay utos. This, this is a command coming from the Lord. Amen. Ang sabi ganon, uh, here, O Israel, can you flash it, please? Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse four, verses 4 and 5. Sabing ganun, Here, O Israel, the Lord our God is one God. Okay. Israel, remember this. The Lord and the Lord alone is our God. Verse 5. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. So, we have been commanded. Before time, it was a command for the Israelites. No unang panon, it was just for Israel. It was just for Israelites because Israel was uh, the holy nation of God and is still the holy nation of God. Now, mga kapatid, but we are the generations, we are you know we are gentiles but then we are being redeemed by god so we are also um we are also can receive what the israelites have received no tayo ay tumanggap din ng kaligtasan katulad kung papano yung mga pangako whatever the promises of god to israel we already also have that promises now mga kapatid we have been told we have been asked to love the Lord our God it was, uh, with all our hearts, with all our minds, and with all our strength. Meaning, we have to honor our God. And we have the topic last week that um, we have to fear the Lord. No? Uh, ginagalang natin ang Panginoon. We have to exalt the Lord. We have to acknowledge the Lord. And even uh, um, before time, I was hearing uh, Brother brother uh, Noel. He told us uh, earlier during the praise and worship that King David, even though he was a president during the time, he was the president of Israel, the king of Israel during the time, but he acknowledged the goodness of God, the supremacy of God. He acknowledged the power of God. No, So even now, we are being told and God is telling us to acknowledge God. Now, what does uh, honoring God mean? What does, um, what does um, fearing God means? Fear of God means. Now, um, honoring God is to acknowledge. When we say honor, ay ginagalang natin. No? When we say honor, it is acknowledging God as the highest authority in heaven and on earth. We acknowledge God as the highest authority. Kaya sabi niya, he's, he told us in uh, Deuteronomy 6, 4, Hear, O Israel, the Lord your God is one God. There is only one God, and beside Him, there is none. Amen. And so, mga kapatid, since uh, even before God already taught us, uh, taught the people, uh, be holy, for I, the Lord your God, is holy. And even before, um, the people before whom um, God was cho were chosen, 
like King David, you know, um, I, I told you last week the acronym for honor. When we say honor, kapag sinabi natin honor, ginagalang natin. Now, we have honor and when we honor God, meaning you humble yourself to God. Tama? When you honor God, you humble yourself before God. Meaning you acknowledge God as the highest authority over all. You acknowledge God that God is the supreme authority. The highest authority above all. And there is none beside Him. And He alone is God. And so, mga kapatid, it is to acknowledge God as the highest authority in heaven. Now remember, in heaven, heaven, we cannot reach heaven because we are still in flesh. But then, He already is reigning His kingdom is in heaven and He reigns in heaven and He is a God of heaven and of earth and the universe. Nakikita nyo ba? Now, mga kapatid, we humble ourselves before God. We acknowledge, you know, even King David, si Haring David, uh, can, can we go to um, 1 Chronicles chapter 29, verse 10. 1 Chronicles chapter 29. Sabing ganito, verse 10. I will read it in uh, Tagalog. Sa harapan ng mga tao'y tuwang-tuwa si David na nagpuri kay Yahweh. Si tuwang-tuwa si David na nagpuri kay Yahweh. Sinabi niya, purihin kayo magpakailanman. Sabi niya kay, sa Diyos, purihin kayo Diyos magpakailanman. Yahweh ang Diyos ni Israel na aming ama. Sa inyo ang kadakilaan, ang kapangyarihan, ang karangalan, at ang pagtatagumpay sapagkat sa inyo ang lahat ng nasa langit at nasa lupa. Sa inyo ang kaharian at kayo ang dakila sa lahat. Wow! In English, there... In front of the whole assembly, King David praised the Lord. He said, Lord God of our ancestor Jacob, may you be praised forever and ever. You are great and powerful and glorious and splendid and majestic. Everything in heaven and earth is yours and you are king, supreme ruler over all. Amen. So, sabi nga nun, uh, sa inyo ang kadakilaan. David, King David, he acknowledged that God alone, to God alone, all the greatness. Sabi niya, you alone are great, you alone are powerful. He acknowledged despite all the, the, the victories King David had during the, the, uh, the wars, before, before uh, during his time, maraming pagtatagumpay na, na ginawa ang Diyos. God brought many victories over David's life from the, the hands of his enemies. But then, King David did not acknowledge himself. He did not, uh, he did not acknowledge himself as he, uh, by his own might, by his own power, he was able to have victory. So he told, he, he, he praised the Lord. Oh, Dios, purihin ka magpakailanman. You alone are to be worshipped forever, God. Sabi niya, and, uh, sabi niya, sa iyo ang kadakilaan. Sa iyo ang kapangyarihan. Sa iyo ang karangalan at ang pagtatagumpay. So he acknowledged another. Sabi nga nun, and O for H for humble, Hum humbling ourselves, please. And then O for obeying Him, obey, obe obedience to God. And then um, N for noble services, nobility to God. Yes, amen. O offerings to God. And then R, respect to God. Now, obedience to God. No, uh, I will just have to uh, uh, have a short recap on this. Obedience to God. Whenever we honor God, 
we obey Him. Kapag ka ginagalang natin ang Diyos, we obey Him. Sinusunod natin siya. Remember, the kings of the earth. ba diba? sabing ganon. All the kings of the earth shall praise Him, O Lord. Shall praise Thee, O Lord. Siya lang. No other king shall be praised except our God, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. And sabing ganon, um, we obey Him. So if you, brother, honor God, then you obey Him. If I honor God, I obey Him with all my heart, with all my soul, with all my strength, whatever it takes, I must, I must obey Him. And so God wants us to obey Him. And you know, it's not easy because it has, you have to, to uh, punish yourself every time you want your you want to do something that is uh, in honor to your flesh. No? Gusto mong sundin in, in, in order to follow or obey your flesh. You have to deny yourself. So, honoring God is to obey Him. Even to simple, simple things, we obey God. No? Honoring God is to obey Him. So, King David, who obeyed God. When God told him, "Oh, King, oh, David, you have you uh, you you will gather the golds and uh, things furnish for the furnishings and for the temple." So he gathered everything. He honored God, and you know he obeyed God. And so what else? He offered also God noble services, nobility in services, noble services. Ibig sabihen yung yung kanyang paglilingkod sa Dios. He, he was serving God with all excellence, in all his might, in all his power. He offered God his noble services. At uh, also, kaya naglingkod siya, and even uh, sa maraming pagkakataon, for a long time, he served as a king of Israel. Now, ano pa? Offered him, all for offering him, or offered him highest kind of offering. You know, itong, itong, this, this uh, text that we have now, First Chronicles chapter 29, um, from here, we can read that uh, most, um, um, King David offered a very excellent offerings unto God. And sabi niyang ganito, verse 14, First Chronicles chapter 29, verse 14, Sabi niya sa Tagalog, Ngunit sino ako at ang bayang ito? Buong puso kaming nagkakaloob sapagkat ang lahat ng ito ay galing sa inyo at ibinabalik lamang namin. Wow! Sabi niya, yet my people and I cannot really give you anything because everything, here we are again, uh, David is acknowledging that Everything is a gift from you. And we have only given back what is yours already. So we cannot really outgive God. Akala ba natin, we, because we are giving our tithes, big tithes, big offerings, we, we are giving, uh, we can outgive God. God, here, um, um, David, King David, he acknowledged that, Lord, sabi niya, everything, sabi niya, Everything is a gift from you. So we receive that gift from God. Everything that you have, your husband, your wife, your children, your wealth, your treasures, your possessions, everything is from God. And so David also acknowledged that um, everything that was with him were from God, was from God. Amen. So sabi niya, oh Lord, uh, sabi niya, and we have only given back what is yours already. So it was a humbling spirit, a humble spirit from him. Lord, etong meron ako is galing din sa you. And I am giving you back what is yours already. So we cannot really outgive God. Everything was oh everything is from him. Amen. So we don't brag, we don't uh, we don't um, boast. We don't brag, ah, I, I got this because of my own strength. 
I have I had this because of my own uh, um, uh, strategies my own methods I got this because of my own intelligence no even King David did not acknowledge himself as everything that he got was from his own strength King David a man after God's own heart acknowledged that everything was from God so we too as uh, Christians we acknowledge that everything that we have is from God with a humble and in a humble spirit your talents it is not from you it is from God you have the capabilities it is not from you it is from God and so your talents your abilities your uh, your uh, gifts these are from God and we give it back to him by how by using the gifts the talents the abilities that we receive from him by serving him with all our hearts with all our minds and with all our strength amen so kailangan ibabalik natin sa Diyos lahat ng tinanggap natin mga talento natin marunong kang kumanta marunong kang uh, magdrawing kat, uh, nagagamit gam, ginagamit mo ito para sa kaluwalhatian ng Diyos whatever gifts we acknowledge we offer unto God just like King David he offered sacrifices praises to God no David was dancing before the Lord to honor him David you know the book of Psalms David wrote uh, most of the books of the book of the Psalms halos lahat ng awit ay inawit niya and uh, marami so we offer also we offer him a highest kind of offering acknowledging God so sabi niya dito um, um, from here uh, verse 15 ng uh, first Chronicles chapter 29 verse 15 sabi niya you know O Lord that we pass through like life like exiles and strangers as our ancestors did our days are like a passing shadow and we cannot escape death dito kinilala niya na ang buhay natin tat katulad lang tayo can can we ano in tagalog please tulad ng aming mga ninuno kami ngay mga dayuhan at naglalakbay lamang ang buhay namin sa daigdig na ito ay parang anino at pansamantala lamang so he humbled still himself he humbled himself acknowledging that this life the life that he has is from god and we are just and uh, sojourners we are just wanderers of this world no at, at tayo ay hindi natin matatakasan ang kamatayan and letter r we have reverence or revering or respect to our god no Me, oh, honor the word honor humble humbling ourselves and then obeying god for o and for noble services and then o again for o, offering him highest kind of offering and then r for reverence or uh, reverence unto his name so kinikilala natin we respect his name we revere his name now um, the things that God called us unto holiness kaya doon sa talata to the to the text we just we read that the text we had it said it says there that consecrate yourselves diba sabi sa exodus kanina na binasa natin consecrate yourselves wash your clothes clean linisin ninyo ang inyong mga kasuotan and then i create a boundaries wag kayong lalagpas doon sa boundaries so we already uh, we divided this topic into three points number one called unto holiness what we sang no we are called to holiness and even before time god called the israelites the people to holiness and now to this generation god is calling us to walk in holiness to walk in righteousness to walk in uprightness this is the will of god for us ito ang kalooban ng diyos you know uh, uh, god wants us to live in holiness he wants us to to set ourselves apart from sin now mga kapatid so consecrating ourselves no called unto holiness so 
uh, we are called unto holiness, then um, we also have uh, um, consecrating ourselves, no? our garments. When the Bible speaks, pag sinabing garments, kasuotan, at pag sinabing kasuotan, when, when the Bible speaks of garments, I remember Brother Sam, he was uh, doing the moderation this uh, morning. He told us, he told us that being a Christian is not like a clothes you wear during the church service and after the church service or after coming from the church and going back home you remove that clothes hindi ganyan ang christianismo christianity as is a daily living you have to wear your garments every day every moment of the day because why garment speaks in the bible as the good deeds of the people revelation chapter 19 verse 8 revelation chapter 19 verse 8 sabing ganon so garments sabing ganito in english she has been given clean, shining linen to wear. The linen is the good deeds of God's people. Now, sabi nga nun, sa Tagalog, nabihisa na siya ng malinis at puting-puting lino. Ang lino ay sagisag ng mabubuting gawa ng mga hinirang ng Diyos. Wow! So, that is why God wants us to wear. Sabi dito, puting lino. No? Sabi dito, clean, white, shining linen. Malinis at puting-puting lino. You, we know that when we say white, it resembles purity. Tama po? Kapag sinabing white, anong, ano ang resemble? Purity. Ano pa? Purity. What else? Cleanliness. Yes. Ano pa? Holiness. Yes, very good. So, the Lord is wanting us to uh, our good deeds it's it resembles our good deeds let your uh, let your um light so shine before men sabi ganon Matthew 5:16 before men that people would see your good works and glorify your father which is in heaven so good works is your good deeds oh white linen is your good deeds so kagaya na sinabi ni brothers uh, Christianity, you are a Christian. You don't do good things only in the church. You don't do good things only when everyone is seeing you, is looking at you. You do it in secret. Good things in secret. Do good things even in public. So, remaining yourself in honor to God. Honoring God. Amen. Now, mga kapatid. According to Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 8, please, Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 8, sabi dito, it's um, sa, sa, sa King James Version, because um, sa King James Version, iba po ang salin, let thy garments be always white. Anong kulay? White. Let your garments be always white. Meaning, let your lives be always pure. Let your lives be always sanctified. Be always holy before the Lord. Let thy garments be always white. Amen. At uh, please, uh, kapag iba yung sali ng Biblia nyo, if it is not the King James Version, you will not find it there. No? It's, um, it's only in King James Version and in uh, English Standard Version that you will see that, that, um, that um, uh, version. No? But then in Magandang Balita, Biblia, it's far. So we also need to look. But the King James Version is the, uh, the, the closest to the original translation of the word. Now, mga kapatid, you know, I made an acronym for the word garments. No? I made an, uh, an acronym for the word garments. Number one, garment, letter G. Sabi dito, says here, 
letter G, for guard your heart. Guarding your heart. Bantayan ninyo ang inyong puso. So, meaning, uh, yung garments, you can keep your garments white by guarding yourself. Guarding your heart. Mapapanatili ninyong malinis ang inyong mga kasuotan kapag binabantayan ninyo inyong puso. Tama? Because out of the abundance of the heart, I, your word will speak. Your mouth will speak. Now, guard your heart. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23. Sabing ganon, Proverbs 24, verse 23. Sabing ganito, Praise. Sabing ganito, ang puso mo'y ingatang mabuti at alagaan pagkat iyan ang siyang bukal ng buhay mong tinataglay. Uh, in English, be careful how you think. Your life is shaped by your thoughts. Amen. Now, ano pa? G for guard your heart. A is you can remain, you, you can maintain your uh, garments white by abstaining, abstinence. Pag sinabing abstinence, no, it is restraining yourself, avoiding yourself, averting yourself from one's, oneself, uh, restrain oneself from doing or enjoying something. No, You are to abstain. Kapag nag enjoy ka sa isang bagay, but then that thing, you need to abstain. Kailangan mong pigilan ang sarili mo. So, you have, uh, um, I want yet to First Thessalonians, may payo ang Biblia dito, chapter 4, verse 3. In English, please, First Thessalonians, chapter 4, verse 3. Abstinence. Or abstain. First Thessalonians, uh, because the, the translation there is good, that's why... Um, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 3. For this is the will of God, even your sanctification, that ye should abstain from fornication. Meaning, ito ang kalooban ng ating Diyos na tayo ay magpakabanal at, ating, at tayo ay umilag sa mga pagkikahalayan. Ayan, lumayo sa kahalayan. Kalooban ng Diyos na kayo'y maging banal at lumayo sa lahat ng uri ng kahalayan. So, abstinence from all uh, all um, evil um, fornication, from sexual immoralities. And for, uh, First Thessalonians as well, please. 522 to 24. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 22. And avoid, and 224 please, and avoid every kind of evil. May the God, uh, in, in, can you please in King James Version? And, and the very God of peace sanctify you wholly. And I pray, God, your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. 24. Faithful is he that calleth you who also will do it. Verse 22, please. Abstain from all appearance of evil. Yan. So, umiwas tayo sa lahat ng anyo, Tagalog. Umiwas tayo sa lahat, um, lumayo kayo sa lahat ng uri ng kasamaan. Ano pa? Naway lubusan kayo ang gawing banal ng Diyos na siyang nagbibigay ng kapayapaan at naway panatiliin niyang walang kapintasan ang buo ninyong katauhan ng Espiritu, kaluluwa at katawan hanggang sa pagparito ng ating Panginoong Jesus. Amen. And uh, R for reproach. You, you, you reproach or when you are being rebuked, you repent. R, reproach, rebuked, repent. No, kapag tayo sinasaway, hindi tayo naghihimagsik. When we are being um, rebuked, meaning when we are being um, asked, corrected, no, we will not, we will not um, rebel against our rulers, against our pastors, against our leaders. When we are rebuked, we listen to them and we also repent. Ano pa? M for meditation of God's words. M for garments you in order for you to maintain to remain your clothes white meditate on god's words daily 
kailangan mong mag-meditate lagi because God's words are the lamp to your feet. No? And then, you know what? God's words, sab sabi ni Haring David, how can a young person be re remain clean? It is by keeping or hiding the words in his heart. Now, mga kapatid, the word of God that you are meditating will also protect you from any form of harm. Amen. Ano pa? E, engage yourselves in prayer. Empower yourselves by uh, through prayers. No? So, uh, also, ano pa? And you will be elevated. You know, if you engage yourself in prayer, you empower yourself in prayer, you will be elevated by the power of the Holy Ghost. Ano pa? Nurture gifts. You have and for nurturing your gifts, you nurture your gifts. Yung mga kaloob sa si inyo, iingatan ninyo, pa, inyong palalakasin, inyong i-enhance. T, ano pa? In order for you to remain your whites, uh, your garments white, para panatiliin yung malinis, pure, ang inyong mga damit. T, trust, trusting God. You need to trust God whatever cause it may be. Maari nasa bagyo ka, you are in the midst of the storm. Maybe you are in confusion. Maybe you are in the midst of raging tempest in your heart. You are emotionally um, uh, uh, not at peace. So you have to trust God. Sabi ng Proverbs, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him and He shall direct your path. Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6 po yan. And so what else? S for serving God. Garments. In order for you to remain your garments, your lean and white, you have to serve God with all your heart, soul, and strength. Amen. Garments. So letter G, we have guard your heart. A, you have to abstain uh, from all evil. Uh, R for reproach, rebuke, and repent. M for meditate the word of God. E for engage your, yourselves in prayer and for nurturing your gifts. T for trusting God and S for serving our God. Amen. Na, amen. So mga kapatid, those are the things that we must need to maintain our clothes white, our garments white. Amen. Gusto niyo ba na ang damit ninyo laging malinis? Ha? Huh? Amen. Because our garments is our uh, garments that we will present to our, our lives, that we are going to present to our, to our God. That's why we are, uh, sabi ng Lord, Ephesians 5.27, na uh, inihanda niya yung kanyang bride, yung, uh, our clothes, to present to himself a bride that is, uh, whose garment is wrinkle-free, whose garment is spotless, blameless. So God wants us to be blameless. God wants us to be spotless. God wants us to be, uh, our clothes be wrinkled free. No? So to prepare to himself, to present to himself a bride, wrinkle free in all her beauty, in all her splendor. And so tayo yun, that is why we need to remain our garments white. Kaya kapag, ka, kapag ka nadudumihan yung damit natin, we need to wash it. Diba? Ganun din. Kapag ka nadudumihan yun, then when, when our clothes are soiled, what are you going to do? Diba you wash it right away? Otherwise, it will remain and remain and it will stain your clothes. And it will ruin your clothes. So the same thing with our lives. If you have sinned, if we have sinned, if I have sinned, I need to wash away, right away my clothes. I have to go to the, to the throne throne of grace of God and ask for forgiveness, ask for repentance, and then wash my clothes, wash my life clean, wash my heart clean by the washing of the word of God and by the blood of Jesus. You have to repent. Lord Jesus, I have sinned. Lord Jesus, I made wrong. Lord Jesus, I have, I have committed this. I have done this. Sorry, Lord Jesus. So we need to wash every moment of our lives. If we sin, we go all right away to the throne of grace of God and ask forgiveness. Amen. So garments, we need to wash up. Uh, we need to maintain our clothes washed. Now, mga kapatid, what else? I owe. Okay. Um, another, what will be the, the, the results 
or the consequences if we will not honor God. Kapag hindi natin in honor, if we will not honor the Lord. Remember, um, remember King Saul? Kilala nyo, do you know King Saul? King Saul was the, the first king ever of Israel. Siya yung unang hari ng Israel, si Sa- Saul. But then, God told um, Prophet Samuel to anoint King Saul, Saul with oil. No pahira ng langis si, uh, si Saul. God told Prophet Samuel. But then, so, one day, God told, uh, sabi ng Diyos, God told Saul, uh, King Saul, uh, um, it's in um, 1 Samuel chapter 15. Can we go there? This will be our last text. Huh? Um, because uh, we are running off time already. Um, God told uh, King, Sam, uh, King Saul, he told here, in verse, uh, chap- 1 Samuel chapter 15, verse 3, sabing ganito, Go and attack the Amalekites and completely destroy everything they have. Don't leave a thing. Kill all the men, women, children and babies, the cattle, sheep, camels and donkeys. Sabi ganon, don't leave a thing. Kill all the men, women, children and babies, the cattle, lahat. Sabi ganon sa Tagalog, lubus, lusubin mo ang mga, amal, ang mga amalek at lipunin silang lahat. Wala, wasakin mo ang lahat nilang ari-arian at huwag magtitira kahit isa. Patayin mo silang lahat, babae at lalaki, mula sa pinakamatanda hanggang sa sanggol. Patayin mo rin ang kanilang mga baka, tupa, kamelyo at mga asno. So, God commanded King Saul to kill everything. King, kill Amalekites because Amalekites was a big, uh, big um, a tribe, no? um, big groups of people. But then, they have to kill the, Am- the Amalekites, everything. But then, what happened to King Saul? King Saul... What did King Saul do? Ano ang ginawa ni Haring Saul? Now, uh, sa verse 7 and 9, sabing ganon, 1 Samuel 15, 7 and 9, Saul defeated the Amalekites. Dilupig ni Saul ang mga Ala- Amalekita, fighting all the way from Havilah to Shur, east of Egypt, please. Uh, 8, please, 8. He captured King Agag of Amalek alive and killed all the people. So, Sabi niya, nahuli nila, Tagalog please, uh, he captured, nilipol niya, yes, uh, verse 8, Sinal, uh, nilipol niya ang mga taong bayan, ngunit binihag ng buhay si Haring Agag. Haring Agag, King Ag- Agag, was the king of Amalek. Now, he is spared, di ba? Sabi ng Lord, what God told Saul, King every, kill everything. Di ba? Sabi niya ganon, kill everything. Man, we, uh, men, women, young, old, kill everything. But then he is spared King Agag's life. Pinakawalan niya si King Agag. And then please, verse 9. Uh, English f- first, please. But Saul and his men spared Agag's life and did not kill the best sheep. It's not only King Agag's life, but also the best sheep they kept and cattle, the best calves and lambs or anything else that was good. They destroyed only what was useless or worthless. See what happened? They disobeyed God. King Saul dishonored God. King Saul did not obey God. Diba sabi ko kanina, uh, 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 earlier I told you, when you honor God, you have to obey God. Honoring God is obeying God, but then King Saul did not obey God. He dishonored God. Instead of killing King Agag, instead of killing all, even the best ships, the best calves, Killing everything because that was the order of the Lord. But then what he did, he spared King Agag. He spared the best of calves. He spared the best of cattlery. So what happened? No? And he only, he only, sabi niyang ganon, uh, destroyed what was useless and worthless. So what happened? Uh, verse 15, verse 22, 1 Samuel 15, 22. Praise. Samuel said, so Samuel confronted 
Saul because God told him. Samuel said, which does the Lord prefer, obedience or offerings and sacrifices? It is better to obey him than to sacrifice the best sheep to him. See? Ano sabi? Tagalog, please. Sabi nga nun, sinabi ni Samuel, akala mo ba higit na magugustuhan ni Yahweh ang handog at hain kaysa ang pagsunod sa kanya? Mas mabuti ang pagsunod kay Yahweh kaysa paghahandog at ang pakikinig ay higit sa haing taba ng tupa. So, even King Saul kept all the best of the calves and wants to offer everything to the Lord. But the Lord told him, which do you prefer? Which is good? Your sacrifices or your obedience? But your obedience is better than your sacrifice. Amen. So your obedience, our obedience is better than our sacrifices. To, so what happened to King Agag? Verse 20, uh, verse, um, verse 23, please. Sabi nga nun, ang pagsuway sa kanya ay kasinsama ng pangkukulam at ang katigasan ng uloy tulad ng pagsamba sa Diyos Diyoshan. Sapagkat itinakwil mo ang salita ni Yahweh, itinakwil ka rin niya bilang hari for a feature of assignment. The kingship of King Saul was forfeited from him. He was rejected not by men, but by God. And he was dethroned. Inalis siya sa kanyang position. So, obedience is better than your sacrifice. Amen! Amen! So, mga kapatid, that is one of the consequences for a feature of the assignments. That's why even to us, our leaders, we have um, um, some of the leaders. You know, that's why we keep on battling every day, renewing every day. Araw-araw tayo nakikipagdigma, araw-araw tayo uh, binabago ng ating Diyos. We need the grace and mercy of our God to be able to withstand evil, to be able to withstand uh, um, uh, temptations to be able to withstand distractions to withstand to be able to withstand um, mga, mga challenges in lives we need to and even every one of us sabi ng Lord God told us your obedience is better than your sacrifice your obedience is better than your sacrifice your obedience is better than your sacrifice. You may have brought good sacrifices to the Lord, but then God requires your obedience better than your sacrifices. Amen. 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 Let us give our Lord a clap offering and let us rise up. We have overtime already. <laughs> Praise God. Let us remain in the presence of our God. Hallelujah, Father. We bless your name. Thank you, Father. Lord, we thank you for the teaching of today. Lord, we pray that the words you have spoken for your people in our midst, Lord, will be a transforming power in our lives. Lord, transform us, Lord. And to those who are weak, let it be a reviving power in our lives. To those who are under, in, in brokenness, let it be a wholeness in our lives. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Glory be to your name. Lord, we pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you for your words. We thank you for the teaching. Lord, we thank you for each and every one, the hearts of each and every one of, of us here. Lord, thank you for your presence. Thank you for the power of the Holy Ghost, Lord. Thank you for speaking to your people right now. Thank you, Lord, for speaking to us. Thank you, Father. You alone are God. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Father, we come once again. And we ask, Lord, to... Strengthen us in our weaknesses. 
Lord, help us, Lord, to honor you more. More love, more power, more of you in our lives, Lord. More love, more power, more of you in our lives. Less of us, Lord, decrease us that you may be increased. Lord, decrease us, Lord, that you be lifted up. Thank you, Father. More of you in our lives, Lord. More of you in our lives. Touch your people, Lord, right now. Speak to your people right now, Father. Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Father. Lord, salamat po. Salamat, Lord. Lord, we pray that you help us, Father. Grant us the spirit to worship you. Grant us the desire to honor you with all our hearts, our minds, our strength, Lord God. Oh, Lord, let our lives be a pleasing sacrifice unto you, Lord. Worthy before you, Lord, in every way, in every day of our lives. Thank you, Father. Keep us, Lord. Keep us holy, Lord. Keep us righteous. Keep us faithful, Lord, as we walk in this challenging world. Lord, keep us in your bosoms. Keep us in your love. Keep us, Lord. We pray, Father. Thank you, Lord, for blessing your people. Thank you, Lord, for the prepared, in-stored blessings and abundance for your people. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 And so, mga kapatid, um, let us uh, remain standing for the benediction. Let us um, raise our right hand, lift our right hand. May the Lord bless you and take care of you. Amen. Say amen. 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 May the Lord be kind and gracious to you. May the Lord look on you with favor and give you peace. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be upon us all. Amen. Surely, Surely. Goodness, goodness and mercy, and mercy shall, follow me shall follow me all the days of my life. Of my life. And I shall dwell. I shall, I shall dwell, declare it, I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. forever. Amen. 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 Palakpakan natin ng Panginoon. God bless us all. Amen. Let us all be seated.
Yes, I love you with a love. Amen. O bahal kita sa Panginoon. O bahal kita sa Panginoon. Makikita ako sa iyong walapiyata na mahal kita sa Panginoon. Amen. I love you all with the love of the Lord. Amen. See you on Friday. Amen. Yung gusto pong magpa-bautismo, kindly see Sister Mary Ann para maitala po namin kayo. Amen.
deeper, more of you in our lives. Less of us will not honor God. Kaway lubusan kayong gawing banal.